Hello everybody, and this is Toxic Tiger 2 Gamer here, and welcome back to Evolve. And as you can see, the Elder Kraken has been released. Finally, because I'm starting to get bored of this game. Seriously, like, I'm starting to get bored. Like, I'm going to be playing PvZ2, or Plants vs Zombies 2 soon, guys. I might do some videos, but don't worry, Evolve will, will, will stay here for the rest, the rest of their lives. Because it's getting better, and there's hints to a, a massive update coming with loads of changes. That's going to make the game much, much, much fun. Uh. So, there's Carla. I know I haven't made a video in like over a month. Nearly two months now, and Carla's been released for a while, and I made a video on her. There will be a video coming soon. Soon. By that, I mean like 60 months. Alright, but here, here's his, or hers, I don't know what the fuck this thing is, but like, let's just say it's a Belize. There's Lightning Strike, mm -hmm. Banshee Missile, oh, I learned that he only shoots one missile at a time that does high damage. Af Chain Aftershock, which is very small radius, but when you, when you hit one target it can change to an enemy. And what was the other one? The Death Spiral. Instead of just like a vortex going forward, you shoot it down from your eye, well, from your eye. It's like it's the elder crack, and, like its eyes somehow like magical or something. And like I don't know, like it's just a spiral. So oh, sorry, like, just a spiral comes down and kills anything. And here, there's the banshee missile. It's high, high damage. But thing is, it goes really slow, and it doesn't lock onto targets anymore. With the lightning strike. Like, you choose where to put it, you can't move it like the old van vanilla Kraken. Let's see, you saw the the beautiful death spiral there, which I really like. Like, if you think about it, like, just think, like, it's gonna be so many more variations in the future, like, this is only the start. Tier 1 has only been done, this is the start of Tier 2. And there's like, five tiers, well, if they keep going till until tier 3. I really want a variation of the behemoth. You look cool as hell. Like, I've made up my own, which is called the Icicle Behemoth, or Avalanche Behemoth, that's it, something like that. And all of his abilities are ice, and he's got loads of like... <laughs> watch, watch me just frustrate over this stupid flipping. Yeah, he, like, the thing is, he has to be very close range to do damage. That's why he's different to the normal Kraken. But as I was saying, the, the, it'd be cool if we just found like a like an ice behemoth, like like when it is in this fissure, like just going forward, like you put it down, it marks the place, and then after a second, they go boom and do just high damage, and everyone hits by it, slows down. Like how the how would you say like how the meteor glyph is fire over time? Over time, maybe the avalanche behemoth could have slow over time. And it would be really cool, like, and his lava bomb will be like an icicle bomb, instead of like doing high damage with fire, instead of like, if people walk into it, they will be slowed, if you stay in it for long enough, they will stand still and froze, but when the, when the behemoth hits them, they go and frozen, which would be really cool, and it, instead of rock wall, it will be ice wall, <laughs> I don't know what it was, what it would do, maybe if you got hit by it, it would slow you down. What else is there? There's the tongue grab. Maybe the I don't know what the tongue grab would be. Just maybe the same thing. But uh, the idea is pretty cool though, I think. And the, the death that death spiral got a double kill there, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> and you can see stage two elder kraken now, all nice and red with those spikes. Like those spikes become massive when he gets to stage three. And I decided to fight so it won't be boring all the way through the flipping game. There's color, a new monster defying abilities. Putting down my armor, like a little bitch. But let's talk about future of Evolve. As I said before, there was a there was a patch leaked and come in. It was said they're coming out soon. So I would probably say a week or two. I don't know, maybe somewhere in March. I don't know. But it, it's gonna be big. Like they're trying to fix like lead to stage 3 which is like when like when people run away until stage 3 like Wraith it's really boring 
and there's loads of other nerfs like the abilities are going to be literally just changed a lot what's going to happen is is like what one one mark on ability you will get the ability two marks on the ability will increase the radius or duration of the ability and here is the stage three crack and look at those spikes and it's a glorious eye but as i say the second, what was it? It was second one, radius and durability, and the third one is damage and maybe a bit the others. So like, there won't there won't be like high damage warp blasts anymore or anything like that, which is really annoying. Because I thought the reef was really powerful with a warp blast. The decoy was just boring because you should go invisible and just just try and like sneak attack or run off. But that's the thing now. Wraith's decoy has been changed, supposedly. Like, instead of one go using the decoy and going invisible, like, she doesn't go invisible anymore, but she can use her abilities, so she fights along with the decoy, and the decoy won't be able to use heavy attacks, just normal attacks, and not as much knockback. That's what I really hated about the decoy. The decoy you would just use like super mega attacks and push you back like away from the flipping real Wraith who just ran off. But hopefully this game will become better in the future because this new Kraken looks pretty cool. And as you said, if they're going to go into the same order, they're going to be Medic and Assault again. So Hyde and Lazarus. I'd like to see a variation of Lazarus. Like what, what would happen? What, what would it be like? Was the oh yeah about the, about the changes? Alas is getting some changes as well. I I learned that um, but he when he uses his Lazarus device on dead people, they they no longer come back with no strikes. They have a strike if they die. But the thing is, um, if they if they're just incapacitated on the ground and you revive them with the glove, they they will still have no strike. So it. So Lazarus is actually not useless. But you know, once that is kind of fair, I guess, because some people take loads of time off time and health off the on a, a camping a body, and then Laz comes in and revives them, and they have and they have like no strikes and full health. Really annoying, but so that'll help a lot. And uh, as I said, Carla's here. I don't even know what's saying now, any guys. I'm just gonna finish the game here. Oh wait, wait, no, it's not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I missed that sneak attack. And see there, the short range. That's a new big thing. You have to be close up. And he fell into it. That was pretty sexy, I gotta say. But here comes the sexy roar. Wait. Oh yeah. Well. Thank you guys for watching, uh, stay tuned and for more videos, like and subscribe and I'll see you all guys next time. Alright, bye.